Good day, dear students. Today uh, we are going to continue with our lectures of total quality management. Uh, this is uh, the lecture number two today. So today we're going to take further what we were studying yesterday also. Right now we're starting with the basics of learning about total quality management and how it works in organizations and institutions. So uh, where we left off yesterday, then uh, we move on to external failure cost. Now when we speak about external, we were speaking a, a, uh, in the previous um, lecture about internal and external failure costs. So um, in external, the companies that consider quality improvement invest heavily in uh, prevention and appraisal, appraisal costs in order to prevent internal and external failure costs. Now, like I explained before, that internal co failure costs are those that uh, would internally be damaging um, a organization or a, their services or their manufacturing. Now, when we speak about, let's say, uh, the external, the earlier defects are found in a production, the less costly they are to correct. So if they can find the defects in um, while manufacturing at an early stage, then fixing those defects is easier. So for example, now detecting and correcting uh, defects during product design and product uh, production is considerably less expensive than when the defects are found at the customer site. So external failure costs tend to be particularly high for service organizations. Now service organizations may ski cost the other party here because at that time up services they rehote and the customer has already bought the product or uh, is using uh, your services of the company. Now uh, when you, it's in production, then uh, when you're manufacturing something, it's cost less uh, expensive to but if it's detected in the beginning, it's cost uh, less because it's time, labor, uh, manufacturing uh, jo equipment, hai, machinery and um, material would be less. So, the reason is that the, uh, with the service that customer spends much time in the service delivery system and there are fewer opportunities to correct defects than there are in manufacturing. So services may ye cost zyada high is liye chali jati hain kyunke us waqt wo already they're waiting for a service. Let's say for example like um, we have uh, bought a um, an air conditioner. Now if we require the services for that, uh, that uh, the company should come and service the product, then uh, we have to wait in line until our turn comes uh, when they would come and uh, deliver their services. So while we're waiting, then it takes a longer time and if they cannot uh, comply to those services then that is another issue so uh, and there are fewer opportunities so in manufacturing there would be uh, fewer opportunities to correct uh, defects than there um, in services than in manufacturing because in manufacturing you can uh, correct the defects at any stage of the manufacturing of the product but in services it just once they are waiting and you are waiting for the services to come then we have to uh, comply with whatever uh, we get as uh, the service so examples of external failure in services include an airline that has uh, overbooked flights long delays in airline service and lost luggage now this is shown in figure 5.2 uh, further on, we'll uh, look at the uh, figure. So, for example, Masal ke pe aapne airline book kiya hai, overbooked flights, hai. something that is very famous. Uh, airline and many people want to travel by that airline. Now, once they start booking flights, they've taken more than what they, their load is. So they're waiting uh, for longer delays in the service. Sometimes the aircrafts get uh, delayed in arriving, uh, the arrival times are delayed, and then the customers lose their luggage. That is poor quality service. So to correct those then companies and organizations go with uh, the total quality management programs. Now when in this slide if we look at uh, one thing then we would say that um, the cost of uh, defect uh, and then the product design and product production location of defect and then the customer site. 
So you can see when uh, in the cost of uh, defect then when you, we look at the price when in the product design it would be less and then when the pro product production is going up then the location of the defect find that it rises till uh, it goes to the customer's site. Now the evolution if we speak further on of the evolution of total quality manager the TQM now the concept of quality has existed for many years though its meaning uh, has changed and evolved over time. So concept quality ka jo hai wo bade saalo se change ho gaya hai. There has been changes or usme changes aati rahi hai, uh, improvement hoti rahi hai usme. And uh, though its meaning has changed over the uh, period of time. So in the early 20th century quality management meant inspecting products to ensure that they met specifications. So early 20th century mein हमारा यानी क्वालिटी का मतलब ये होता था कि वो ऐसे प्रोडक्ट्स को इंस्पेक्ट किया जाता था कि उनकी वो स्पेसिफिकेशंस या उनके जो सेट वो चीज स्पेसिफाइड कर दिया गया है उस पे वो पूरा उतर रहा है या उस पे जो है ना इट्स कंप्लीट हो रहा है या नहीं नाउ इन द 1940स ड्यूरिंग वर्ल्ड वॉर 2 क्वालिटी बिकेम मोर स्टैटिस्टिकल इन नेचर सो वर्ल्ड वॉर 2 में ज़्यादा स्टैटिस्टिकल हुआ। नाउ स्टैटिस्टिकल सैंपलिंग टेक्निक्स वर यूज्ड टू अवैल्यूएट क्वालिटी एट दैट टाइम, एंड क्वालिटी कंट्रोल चार्ट्स वर यूज्ड टू मॉनिटर द प्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस। इन द 1960स देन, विद द हेल्प ऑफ़ सो कॉल्ड क्वालिटी गुरुस, द कॉन्सेप्ट टुक ऑन अ ब्रोडर मीनिंग। so later on, वो मज़ेद डेवलप होता गया the way of how to judge the quality and the quality gurus are those who have researched and assigned such ideas and added such ideas of quality that the major world is following those same rules now. Now quality began to be viewed as something that encompassed the entire organization not only the production process. So um, when we view quality as a whole, we would say that the entire organization is involved in it. Usme pura organization involved hota hai. Take a quality management mein. And sort of production process nahi hai usme. Take a even the people working in an organization um, help and uh, maintain the quality of their work. Now since all functions were responsible for product quality and all shared costs of poor quality, quality was seen as a concept that affected the entire organization. So us time pe kyunke main function jo tha quality ka wo product quality ke alawa jo hai wo shared cost of uh, cost bhi padti thi agar poor quality de rahe hai and then quality was seen as a concept. So us concept se pura organization effect hota tha. Agar aapki poor quality hai then you lose the business. There are so many side effects to it. So uh, the meaning of quality for business changed dramatically in the late 1970s. Before then, quality was still viewed as uh, something that needed to be inspected and corrected. So, usse pehle quality aisi wo cheez si jisko ek must tha ke usko inspect kiya jaye, usko correct kiya jaye. Lekin 1970s may developed further. So, however, in the 1970s and 80s, many U.S. industries lost market share to foreign competition. So, बहुत सारी U.S. industries ऐसी in local industries या domestic industries ऐसी थी जो foreign market competition से lose करना शुरू कर दिए because of the loss of quality. Now in the auto industry especially, manufacturers such as Toyota and Honda became major players. So in the start, um, as I told you in the previous lecture, that Ford and Honda were in competition. But later on, then after the 70s and 80s, Toyota and Honda became the major players. So in the consumer goods market, companies such as Toshiba and Sony led the way. So you, uh, if you remember in the 80s, uh, it was um, these goods were very famous. So in cars, Toyota and Honda started um, building new designs and uh, providing their automobiles for even the um, lower wage customers or consumers. And then uh, Toshiba and Sony, they maintained the quality. So everybody would go for the branded stuff and think that, okay, if we are buying Sony, that means that uh, that good has to be of quality. Now, when we talk about that, then uh, and Toshiba, they were both on the top of the market at that time. 
Now in these days you can see that you, there are many competitors. There are many other uh, companies that are in competition with those. So these foreign competitors were producing lower price products with considerably higher quality. So they were giving a less price with a better quality. Now to survive, companies had to make major changes in their quality programs. So, the domestic companies, the uh, local companies, the uh, a country ke apni, uh, products, thi, they had to unko survive karne ke liye, uh, sari changes karne thi, apni quality management. Because the foreign competition wale companies are giving the same thing, the same product, de rahe, but at a lesser rate and better quality, higher quality. So, if we give higher quality domestically and then uh, charge high rates, nobody would come to buy those products. So many hired consultants and instituted quality training programs for their employees. So at that time then the trend started. Also the trend started where they started consultations. They started to hire consultants and they started to hire And they started training programs in their organizations. Um, provide karna shuru kiya employees ke liye taake unki wo quality maintain ho ke better quality ho sake. Now one result is that quality began to have a strategic meaning. Today successful companies understand that quality provides a competitive advantage. So aaj kal ke agar aap dekho to aaj kal ke companies unhe pehle hi pata hai ke wo quality agar wo denge to wo competition mein advantage le sakte hain. Otherwise, unse jo better quality dega, lower price dega, wo exceed kar jayega market mein. Now, they put the customer first and define quality as meeting or exceeding customer expectations. So, uh, ab jo hai customers ko, uh, wo pehle ab, pehle customer ki needs dekhte hain, uh, usko define karte hain, and then they would define that uh, meeting or exceeding ke customer ki expectation kya hai unke products se ya unke services se, aur us hasab se they try to deliver it. Now, since the 1970s, Competition based on quality has grown in importance and has generated tremendous interest, concern and enthusiasm. So, uh, 70s ke baad se, competition based on quality jo hai, wo bada gai hai. Zyada importance usko di jari hai. And usme tremendous interest, concern and enthusiasm bhi pheada ho gaya. Now, companies in every line of business are focusing on improving quality in order to become um, to be more competitive. So, Zyata companies jo hai, wo, jo businesses uh, mein hai, they are kisi bhi line mein, kisi bhi type of business mein, they are trying to focus more on improving their quality. Taake wo competition mein rahe sake aur aage hi rahe. Now, in many industries, quality excellence has become a standard for doing business. So, companies that do not meet the standard simply will not survive. Now, if you look at the companies that uh, are standard set for qualities, okay, that you have to do quality or to do this point or to do excellence on quality. Now, the companies that do not meet the standards or do not work on the standards, they can not survive. They can take the competition on their place and they will be out of business, out of the market. So, as you will see later in this chapter that we're going to be studying, that the importance of quality is demonstrated by national quality awards and quality certifications uh, that are co uh, coveted by businesses. So, ab quality judge karne ka kya tariqa hai? A common person hai, usne uh, apna business start kiya. Ab uski business ki quality usko kaise judge hogi? By the customer? or how the customer reacts to them, but even then, how would they know that they are giving a product of quality? So, uske liye, everybody has started making awards, there are national quality awards a gai hain, thik hai, quality certifications a gai hain, thik hai, jo ek standard ko check karti hai, organization ke work ko check karti hai, and then they decide ke ye, yes, this company or this organization, this product or this services are of a certain standard that are set and they have maintained that standard. So that uh, certifies them that they are uh, good in their quality and the way they deliver it to the customers. So the term used for today's new concept of quality is total quality management. 
तो आजकल नया कॉन्सेप्ट जो है क्वालिटी के लिए हम जो यूज करते हैं सो द न्यू टर्म वुड बी टी क्यू एम दैट वुड बी टूरल क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट नाउ फिगर फाइव पॉइंट थ्री प्रेजेंट्स अ टाइम लाइन ऑफ द ओल्ड एंड न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ क्वालिटी सो पहले देर वॉज अ टाइम लाइन फॉर द ओल्ड वे ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ क्वालिटी एंड नाउ द न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट so you can see that the old concept is reactive designed to correct quality problems after they occur so agar aap pehle wale concept ko judge kare to pehle wala concept jo hai wo reactive tha theek hai matlab reactive ka ke wo design isliye kiya gaya tha ya is tarike se design kiya gaya tha ke usme quality ko agar koi problem aa rahi hai to wo uske problem aane ke baad usko cure kiya jaye na ke wo पहले क्योर हो जाए सो द न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट अब जो अब नया कॉन्सेप्ट आ गया दैट इज प्रो एक्टिव प्रो एक्टिव डिजाइन टू बिल्ड क्वालिटी इन टू द प्रोडक्ट एंड प्रोसेस डिजाइन पहले पुराने कॉन्सेप्ट से दे यूज टू क्योर द प्रॉब्लम आफ्टर दे अकर्ड इन दिस न्यू थिंग इट्स मोर प्रो एक्टिव एंड इट्स डिजाइन टू बिल्ड द क्वालिटी लेवल इन टू द प्रोडक्ट प्रोसेस एंड द प्रोसेस डिजाइन वाइल इट्स बींग मैन्यूफैक्चर्ड now next we would look at individuals who have shaped our understanding of quality so there are people who have set standards to this and who've um, sort of made a, a map line for us to follow and to judge quality so in figure 5.3 the timeline showing the differences between the old and new concepts of quality now when we look at this uh, we can see that the time was uh, let's say um, early 1900s so at that time the inspection uh, and in the 1940s the statistical sampling and 1960s the organizational quality focus all of it was the old concept of quality inspect for quality after the production so they inspected the quality or the level of quality after the product was already manufactured or delivered after the 1980s and beyond then customer driven quality their focus was customer driven quality a new concept of quality was that built quality into the process and identify and correct causes of quality problems so correcting the problems and finding the defects or any fault in it before the product reached the market or before the production was complete so later on they started developing it in that way now when we speak about uh, the quality gurus now they are the people who have made the philosophy of quality so to fully understand the tqm movement we need to look uh, at the philosophies of uh, notable individuals who have shaped the evolution of tqm so their philosophies and teachings have contributed to our knowledge and understanding of quality today so अगर हम उनकी फिलोसफीज देखिए उन लोगों की फिलोसफीज थी जो दे वर ऑफ नोरेबल इंडिविजुअल्स उन्होंने शेप किया था एवोल्यूशन जो एवोल्यूशन जो चेंज आया थी क्यू में ठीक है उनकी फिलोसफीज और टीचिंग्स वो हैं जिनकी कंट्रीब्यूशन से हमारी नॉलेज आज या अंडरस्टैंडिंग हमारी क्वालिटी के बारे में वो इम्प्रूव हुई है और बड़ी है ना देर इंडिविजुअल कंट्रीब्यूशन आर समराइज इन द टेबल फाइव so when we look at this the quality gurus and their contributions we would say that the quality guru uh, and their main contributions the people who would set, set the standards for quality at that time uh, first was walter a schwart uh, he contributed to understanding of process variability and he also developed the concept of statistical control charts then uh, w edwards deming he played an important role also he uh, his main contribution was stressed management's responsibility for uh, quality so he w he had stressed on the uh, point that the management was responsible for quality then joseph uh, and also developed 14 points to guide companies in quality improvement now joseph a., uh, m juran he defined quality as fitness for use that's like we studied in the previous lecture so uh, according to him it was fitness for use and he developed the concept of 
cost of quality, which we also looked into. Now, Armand uh, V. Uh, Feigenbaum, he introduced the concept of totally, total quality control. Philip B. Crosby, he coined uh, the phrase, quality is free, and introduced the concept of zero defects. So that means they were checking if uh, for no defects would come in the production before it even reach the point of production or going to the market. Now, um, Keru uh, Ishikawa, he developed cause and effect diagrams and identified the concept of internal customer. Ganeshi uh, Tagushi, he, um, by the name you can uh, see that he maybe sounds Japanese, focused on the product design quality and developed Tagushi loss function. So these were their main contributions that they provided for society. Now, if we study them further, uh, let's go uh, step by step studying each of them. And Walter A. Schuhart, uh, has, and he was a statistician at um, Bell Labs during the 1920s and 1930s. Now at that time, if you look back, development of quality wasn't so mature at that time. So, Schuhart uh, studied randomness and recognized that variability existed in all manufacturing processes. So, when he studied randomness, he saw that variability in every manufacturing process exists. He developed quality control charts that are used to identify whether the variability in the process is random or due to an assignable cause such as poor workers or uh, miscollaborated machinery. So, he developed the quality control charts and identified whether the variability in the process is uh, random or due to an assignable uh, cause of poor workers or miscollaborated machinery. Ki wajah se hai. Now, he stressed that eliminating variability improves quality. So, if you eliminate variability, then the quality improves. Uh, his work created the foundation for today's statistical process control. So, today's statistical process control is running. It was because of his work that he took the foundation. And he is often referred to as the grandfather of quality control. So, sometimes they would refer that he was the um, base who um, laid the foundation for quality control. Next is W. Edward Demings. Now, when we look at his work, W. Edward Demings is often referred uh, to as the father of quality control. So, Schwartz was the grandfather and Edwards, they considered him the father of quality control. No, this is just in saying. You see the reason why they're saying them? That means that they're trying to lay the base or explain to you uh, who started the quality control process. So the people, uh, Schwartz, he started it uh, in the start, so that's why they named him the grandfather of qu quality control. And um, Demings came after him, so they uh, named him the father of quality control. He was a statistics professor at New York University in the 1940s. Now, after World War II, he assisted many Japanese companies in improving quality. The Japanese regarded him so highly that in 1951, they established the Deming Prize, an annual award given to firms that demonstrated outstanding quality. So, Deming ne uh, World War II ke baad uh, usne Japanese company usko uh, help kiya improve karne mein apni quality. Japanese usko itna highly usko kar grade karte the ya highly itna usko respect dete the uske kam ke liye ki 1951 mein jab unhone uh, Japanese ne Deming Prize ijad kiya. ठीक है और वो उसके नाम से किया उन्होंने और वो एक एन्युअल uh, अवार्ड था उन फर्म्स के लिए या उन कंपनीज या ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस के लिए जिन्होंने आउटस्टैंडिंग क्वालिटी जो है शो की नाउ इट वाज ऑलमोस्ट 30 इयर्स लेटर दैट अमेरिकन बिजनेसेस बिगन अडॉप्टिंग डेमिंग्स फिलॉसफी a number of elements of Deming's philosophy depart from traditional notions of quality. So Deming's philosophy was the traditional notions of quality set away with the standards. It was a little different. And 
امریکن بزنسز نے تقریباً تیس سال کے بعد اس کو ایکسپٹ کرنا شروع کیا اور ڈیمنگ کی فلسفی چلنی ہے حالانکہ جاپنیز ناو یو کن سی ان مینیفیکٹرین ان پروڈکشن جاپن از اتا خائیس نمبر وائی Why are they so developed? Why are they so uh, high in technology and everything? Because they started uh, following these uh, management, quality management rules in long before the Americans did. So uh, in a way, we can say that the Japanese are far ahead of the Americans. So uh, America, it took 30 years, 30 years to judge America to adopt the Deming's philosophy to adopt their businesses and production. And their total traditional notions were removed. Now the first is the role management uh, should play in a company's quality improvement effort. سب سے پہلا اس کا کیا تھا کہ مینجمنٹ کیا رول پلے کرتی ہے کمپنی کی کوالٹی امپروومنٹ میں اور اس کے ایفرٹ میں ہسٹورکلی پور کوالٹی وز بلیمڈ آن ورکرز آن دیر لیک آف پروڈکٹیوٹی لیزی نس اینڈ کیرلیس نس سو پہلے اگر ہم ہسٹورکلی دیکھیں تو ہم کوالٹی دیکھتے تھے تو ہم کہتے تھے کہ میبی وہ ورکرز کا قصور ہے They haven't worked properly. Unka lack of productivity tha. Unka laziness thi. Unki carelessness tha. Maybe unho ne kaam se hi tarah nahi kiya. Now, however, Deming pointed out that only 15% of quality problems are actually due to worker error. So, quality, um, Deming ke hasaab se pointed out ke agar 15% jo hai quality problems, wo uh, workers ka kasoor nahi tha. Take it. There uh, may be 15% jo hai unki wajah se wo hua ho. Now the remaining 85% jo hai are caused by processes and systems including poor management. So maybe workers ke hisse mein agar hum dekhe ab Deming ne ye cheez point out ki or prove kiya ke pehle hum sara 100% blame kar dete thai ke workers, ke, uh, workers ka fault hai. Kisi bhi services mein, company mein, organization mein, manufacturing of any production. اب ڈیمنگ نے جب یہ پوائنٹ آؤٹ کیا کہ صرف اگر کوئی فالٹ آتا ہے یا کوئی ورکر ایرر ہے بھی تو وہ صرف ففٹین پرسنٹ ہے ایٹی فائف پرسنٹ تو وہ اس پروسس سے ہے یا اس سسٹم سے ہے جو جس میں پور مینجمنٹ بھی آ جاتی ہے اگر مینجمنٹ ہی آپ کی خراب ہوگی تو اوویسلی دین آپ کا پروڈاکشن یا مینفیکچرین یا سروسز وہ بھی خراب ہوگا ناو ڈیمنگ سیڈ دیٹ ایٹ ایز اپ ٹو دی مینجمنٹ ٹو کریکٹ سسٹم پرابلمس and create an environment that promotes quality and enables workers to achieve their full potential. So that means that management to correct their system problems and create an environment in which quality to promote quality, to increase more. اور ورکرز کو یہ اپنے فل abilities show karne ka right ho. Now he believed that managers should drive out any fear employees have of identifying quality problems and that uh, numerical quotas should be eliminated. So in his opinion, managers should do that they should feel that employees are comfortable. Feel they wouldn't feel bad about uh, working and they could identify the quality problems and the numerical quotas should be eliminated also. Proper methods should be taught. According to him, according to Demi, he said that proper methods should be taught. They should be taught. They should be taught. And detecting and eliminating poor quality should be everyone's responsibility. And in his opinion, پور کوالٹی کو جج کرنا یا الیمنیٹ کرنا وہ سب کی رسپانسیبیلیٹی ہونی چاہیے ٹھیک ہے مینجمنٹ کی بھی ورکرز کی بھی ایوری بڑی انوالوڈ ان دا ارگنائزیشن اٹ شوڈن بی دیٹ جسٹ دا ورکرز آر بلائنڈ فار پور مینجمنٹ بٹ اٹ شوڈ بی دیٹ ایوری بڑی ہیز این ایکول کانسیپٹ آف رسپانسیبیلیٹی ناؤ ڈیمین آؤٹ لائنڈ ہز فلاسفی آن کوالٹی ان ہز فیمس فورٹین پوائنٹس So Demin ne ijaad jab kiya apne chodha point, us points pe uski philosophy jo hai, wo bhoat famous yeh nahi, unki 14 points bhoat famous te. These points are principles that help guide companies in achieving quality improvement. 
یہ وہ پوائنٹس ہیں جو کمپنیز اب آج کل فالو کرتی ہیں اور ان کو یہ ہیلپ کرتا ہے تاکہ وہ اچیو کر سکیں اس اپنی کوالٹی کو امپروو کرنے میں جو بھی ان کو اچیومنٹ چاہیے دا پرنسپلس آر فاؤنڈیڈ آن دا آئیڈیا دیٹ اپر مینجمنٹ مسٹ ڈیولپ اے کمٹمنٹ ٹو کوالٹی اینڈ پرووائڈ اے سسٹم ٹو سپورٹ دس کمٹمنٹ دیٹ انوالو آل امپلائیز اینڈ سپلائرس سو یہ پرنسپلس جو ہے اس آئیڈیا کے بیس کے اوپر بنے کہ اپر مینجمنٹ ان کو ڈیولپ کرنا ہے وہ کمٹمنٹ کوالٹی کے لیے اور وہ سسٹم پرووائڈ کرنا ہے جو سپورٹ کر سکے اس کمٹمنٹ کو جو انوالو آل امپلائیز امپلائیز کو جو انوالو کر رہا ہے اینڈ سپلائرز کو بھی انوالو کر رہا ہے نا ڈیمین اسٹریسڈ دیٹ کوالٹی مینجمنٹ کین ناٹ ہیپن وتھ آؤٹ آرگنائزیشنل چینج دیٹ کمز فرام اپر مینجمنٹ اکارڈنگ ٹو ڈیمنگ اس نے یہ اسٹریس کیا کہ کوالٹی امپروومنٹ ہو ہی نہیں سکتی جب تک یہ اپر مینجمنٹ اس میں جو ہے چینجز نہ لے کے آئے یا ان کی انوالومنٹ نہ ہو نیکسٹ از جوزف ایم جوران میں وین وی اسپیک اباؤٹ ہیم ہی واز انادر کوالٹی گرو سو جوزف ایم جوران آفٹر ایڈورڈ ڈیمنگ Uh, and um, Dr. Joseph Duran is considered to have had the greatest impact on quality management. So, Deming's ke baad, Dr. Joseph Duran, unko consider kiya jata tha ke inka major impact hai quality management mein. Duran originally worked in the quality program at uh, Western Electric. So, generally start on only jab kiya, so he was working in the quality program at Western Electric. He became better known in 1951 after the publication of his book quality control handbook now in 1954 he went to japan to work with manufacturers and teach classes on quality so uh, 51 may he was uh, on a publication ki apne book ki this may quality control handbook thi in 1954 he went to japan to work with the manufacturers so phir wo wahan se um, four year uh, three years ke baad apni book publish karne ke uh, japan gaye and then he started working with the manufacturers on a one to one basis and uh, teach classes on quality aur unhone quality pe classes teach karne shuru ki now though his philosophy is similar to demings there are some differences so unki basic philosophies or basic cheeze to deming se shayad milti hain lekin kuch usme thoda bahut differences there now you see step by step while these people came they kept on improving and adding things to the program of quality control now whereas deming stressed the need for an organizational transformation Duran believes that implementing quality initiatives should not require such a dramatic change and that quality management should be embedded in the organization. So, uh, Deming ne ye stress kiya ke the need for an organizational transformation in a organizational transformation unko transform kiya jai, change kiya jai unke rules. Duran ki believe uh, ye tha ke uh, usko implement quality ko implement implement karne ke liye us ke liye zaruri nahi hai ke dramatic change laya jaye theek hai and uh, that quality management should be embedded yani wo itna uski jadhein itni strong honi chahiye ek organization mein ke wo uh, organization usi base pe uh, quality ki base pe hi khada ho aur usi se aage wo chale bachaye ke jo hai na organization ka weak ho system aur baad mein usko humne ٹرانسفارم کر کے یا ڈراسٹک چینج لا کے ہم نے کوالٹی امپلیمنٹیشن کرنی ہے ون آف چوران سگنیفکینٹ کانٹریبیوشن از از فوکس آن دا ڈیفینیشن آف کوالٹی اینڈ دا کاسٹ آف کوالٹی سو چوران کی سگنیفکینٹ کانٹریبیوشن جو ہے وہ مین جو اس کا فوکس تھا واز آن دا ڈیفینیشن آف کوالٹی اینڈ کوالٹی کی کاسٹ So how does it affect an organization or how it affects the system? Now, Duran is credited with defining quality as fitness for uh, use rather than simply conformance to specifications. So, uske mutabik fitness for use was very important rather than simply conformance to specifications. Now, as we have learned in this chapter, defining quality as fitness for use takes into account the customer intentions for use of the product. 
instead of only focusing on the technical specifications. So, if we look at the Quran, we have seen in the previous lecture, in this chapter, we have seen that if we look at the defining quality, if we look at the fitness for use, so then it means that we have to look at the things, we have to take into account the customer's intentions, that we want to use the product in which way, or what is the customer's demand for that product. So instead of only focusing on technical, but I can sort of technical the decals that they can have a customer need to be taken here. Now, Juran is also credited with developing the concept of cost of quality, which allows us to measure quality in dollar terms rather than on the basis of subjective evaluations. جوران کی میجر جو تھا اس کا ایڈ آلسو کریڈر ویڈ دی ڈیویلپنگ اس نے ڈیویلپ کیا دی کونسپٹ آف کاسٹ آف کوالٹی سو اس نے کاسٹ آف کوالٹی کو ڈیویلپ کیا اور اس سے ہم کیا میجر کر سکتے ہیں ہم کوالٹی کو ڈالر ٹرمز میں میجر کر سکتے ہیں how good or quality rather than on the basis of a subjective evaluation so sort of subjective نہیں but ہم money wise money terms میں اس کو ہم جاج کر سکتے ہیں so, uh, Duran is well known for or originating the idea of quality triology. So, basically, a quality triology is made, which is the most important thing. And most important thing. Or, um, isko credit Duran ko jata hai ke usne wo idea originate kiya. Yani asal idea usne develop kiya. Pella, quality planning. Dusra, quality control. And tisra, quality improvement. So three things that are most important, quality planning, how we plan uh, to improve the quality or maintain quality, quality control, how we keep it in control or keep it in uh, tact, and quality improvement and how to improve the quality. So the first part of the triology, quality planning, is necessary so that companies identify their customers, product requirements, and overriding business goals. پہلی چیز فرس پارٹ میں ہم نے کوالٹی پلاننگ دیکھی اس میں کیا امپورٹنٹ ہے کیا چیز کہ کمپنیز کو ایڈنٹیفائی کرنا ہے اپنے کسٹمرز کو ٹھیک ہے ان کی پروڈکٹ ریکوائرمنٹس دیکھنی ہے کہ ان کی ریکوائرمنٹس کیا ہے اور پھر دوسرے اپنے بے شک وہ اوورائیڈ کر رہے ہیں اپنے بزنس کولز کو the processes should be set up to ensure that the quality standards can be met اور کہ وہ سٹینڈرز کو میٹ کر رہا ہے یا نہیں now the second part of the triology اگر ہم دوسرا پارٹ دیکھئے تو quality control ہے so how would we explain quality control quality control stresses the regular use of statistical control methods to ensure that quality standards are met and to identify variations from the standards the third part of the quality triology is quality improvement so second part ہم quality control دیکھتے ہیں وہ stress کر رہا ہے regular use of statistical control ٹھیک ہے methods جو ensure کرتے ہیں کہ quality standards meet ہو رہے ہیں اور identify کر رہا ہے variations جو standards سے ہٹ کے variations ہیں now the third part of quality triology is the quality improvement so what is quality improvement according to Juran quality improvements should be continuous as well as breakthrough so, not only if their improvements are continuous, but as well as the breakthrough. So, together with Deming, Duran stressed that to implement continuous improvement, workers need to have training in proper methods on a regular basis. So, if we look at Deming and Duran, if we look at Deming, we have stressed that to implement continuous improvement, ठीक है ताकि वर्कर्स को जो है दे शुड हैव अ ट्रेनिंग अब आजकल बहुत सारी कंपनीज ऐसी हो गई हैं जिनमें एक ट्रेनिंग का प्रोसेस चाहिए वो एजुकेशनल है चाहे वो किसी बिजनेस की ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस है बट दे हैव स्टार्टेड हैविंग दिस ट्रेनिंग processes or uh, training sessions for their employees and um, according to Duran he stressed also that these implementations of uh, to improve the workers uh, need to have trainings in proper methods should be on a regular basis any regular basis to unko training mile taake unki ye uh, improvement mazid badhti jaye next we speak about Armand uh, we Fenningham now um, 
Fagan, uh, Fagan Baum, um was another quality leader in, um, and he was who introduced the concept of total quality control. So, uh, another quality leader is the total quality control ka concept that he introduced. In his 1961 book, Total Quality Control, he outlined his pr uh, quality principles in 40 steps. So, उसने अपने जो है outline किए अपने um, book उसने uh, लिखी है 1961 में total quality control uh, जिसको उसने उसमें 40 steps में उन principles को explain कर दिया. Now, Fagenbaum uh, took a total system approach to quality. So he promoted the idea of a work environment where quality developments are integrated throughout the entire organization where management and employees have a total uh, commitment to improve quality and people learn from each other's successes. So, what did he promote? That the work environment has quality ki development. And it should be integrated yani mila wa ho throughout the entire organization. In the entire organization, it is a development of the environment that creates a quality in which quality is developed. Whereas, um, where especially management mein and employees have a total commitment to improve quality, jahan pe, khas tor pe management or jo employees hain, unke aapas mein beech pe ek commitment ho ke, unho ne quality improve karni hai. And people learn from each other's successes. Or ek dousre ki successes bajaye ke, uh, mistakes ki upar focus karne, wo ek dousre ki success pe focus karke, us cheez se seekhe. Now, this philosophy was adopted by the Japanese and termed Company-wide quality control. ये term सबसे ज़्यादा जो है Japanese ने adopt की, ठीक है? और उनके adaptation के बाद ये इसको जो है नाम इन्होंने दे दिया company-wide quality control. The next person was Philip B. Crosby. Now, if we speak about Philip B. Crosby, is another recognized guru in the area of TQM. Now, he worked in the area of quality for many years, first at Martin Marita and then in the 1970s as the vice president of quality at ITT. So, Pele usne kaam kiya for 1970s, say, um, me, uh, Martin Marita, me, and then uske baad vice president of quality at ITT. Now, he developed the phrase, usne ye phrase develop kiya, do it right the first time. And the notion of de zero defects. Or ye cheez ke zero defects ka concept hi hai ki agar aap first time hi attempt karke koi manufacturing mein product aap develop kar rahe hai and if you can do it right the first time then there is no need to um, have any defects or find any defects in a product. So zero defects arguing that no amount of defects should be considered acceptable. Now he scorned the idea that a small number of defects is normal part of operating process because systems and workers are imperfect. So, उसके हिसाब से जो है वो small number of defects जो है आ सकते हैं normal part है operating process में क्योंकि systems और workers वो जो है imperfect होते हैं instead he stressed the idea of prevention तो उसने ज़्यादा stress ये किया कि okay अगर कोई fault आ भी रहा है तो उसका stress ये था इस idea पे कि उसको prevent किया जाए ताकि कोई भी fault start से ही fault ना पड़े और वो बाद में correct करने की ज़रूरत ही ना पड़े that means zero defects now, he also, uh, his concepts were to promote his co uh, concepts. Crosby wrote a book titled Quality is Free, which was published in 1979. Now, he became famous for coining the phrase Quality is Free. So, he was very famous when he was this phrase and he was very famous when he was this phrase and he was very famous when he was this phrase that Quality is Free. And, for pointing out the many costs of quality, which include not only the cost of wasted labor, equipment time, uh, scrap, rework, and lost sales, but also organizational costs that are hard to quantify. So, 
वो ज़्यादा फेमस जब वो हुआ क्वालिटी फ्री व्हाट ही मेंट इज दैट द क्वालिटी शुड बी ऑफ सो गुड स्टैंडर्ड दैट देयर शुडन बी एनी डिफेक्ट्स इन इट एंड पॉइंटिंग आउट दैट मेनी कॉस्ट ऑफ क्वालिटी व्हिच इंक्लूड नॉट ओनली द कॉस्ट ऑफ वेस्टेड लेबर यानी इक्विपमेंट टाइम आ गया आपका स्क्रैप स्क्रैप क्या है जैसे हमने पिछले लेक्चर में पढ़ा कि स्क्रैप इज जो चीज आपका मटेरियल भी वेस्ट हो गया आपका लेबर टाइम भी लग गया आपका इक्विपमेंट टाइम भी लग गया आपके मैन्युफैक्चर कर दिया और उसमें डिफेक्टेड और फुल डिफेक्टेड पीस है so that would go into scrap so that's a waste of all of these so rework and lost sales but also usne ye cheez bhi point out ki organizational costs that are hard to quantify unko hard difficult to quantify karna so crosby uh, stressed that uh, efforts to improve quality more than pay for themselves because these costs are prevented to usne kya kaha ki बजाय कि हम ज्यादा पे करें उसको क्वालिटी इंप्रूव करने के लिए हम उसको प्रिवेंट कर सकें ताकि वो कॉस्ट ही प्रिवेंट हो जाए ना देर फॉर क्वालिटी इज फ्री तो उसने फिर कहा कि क्वालिटी फ्री आएगा इसलिए कि जब आपका लॉस ही नहीं हो रहा होगा किसी चीज में तो आपकी क्वालिटी तो फिर फ्री होगा लाइक डेमिंग इन जुरान क्रॉस बी स्ट्रेस द रोल ऑफ मैनेजमेंट इन द क्वालिटी इंप्रूवमेंट एफर्ट एंड द यूज ऑफ स्टेटिस्टिकल कंट्रोल टूल्स इन मेजरिंग एंड मॉनिटरिंग क्वालिटी सो डेमिंग ने जुरान एंड क्रॉस भी की तरह ये चीज स्ट्रेस की कि मैनेजमेंट का बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट है रोल इसमें ठीक है क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट में इंप्रूवमेंट में एंड क्वालिटी इंप्रूवमेंट एफर्ट करने के लिए मैनेजमेंट हैज टू डू दैट एफर्ट एंड यूज स्टेटिस्टिकल कंट्रोल टूल्स ताकि वो मेजर कर सके और मॉनिटर कर सके क्वालिटी को so in a way what he was trying to say is that management uh, played a huge role in maintaining the quality now uh, kairu uh, ishikwa uh, is best known for the development of quality tools called cause and effect diagrams also called fishbone or ishikawa diagrams so उनको इशिकावन ने जो डेवलप किया उसने टूल्स डेवलप किए ठीक है जिसमें कॉज एंड इफेक्ट डायग्राम्स डेवलप की उस आ, उनको जो है फिशबोन भी कहा जाता है या इशिकावा डायग्राम्स भी कहा जाता है ना दीज डायग्राम्स आर यूज फॉर क्वालिटी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एंड वी विल लुक एट दम इन डिटेल लेटर इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल बी स्टडिंग इन अ फर्दर लेक्चर अबाउट दीज डायग्राम्स and how to follow flow charts and how to uh, follow a uh, fishbone diagram so he was the first quality guru to emphasize the importance of the internal customer the next person in the production process so wo pehla banda tha pehla guru tha jisne emphasize kiya ya first person who set those standards jisne internal customer ka concept develop kiya and that is the next person in the production process now he was also one of the first to stress the importance of total quality uh, company quality control rather than just focusing on products and services so sare logon ne mukhtalif jo hai na product and services ke upar focus kiya aur uske control ke upar focus kiya lekin ye pehla jo hai person tha jisne ye cheez pe bhi importance pe focus kiya ke total quality control jo hai wo total company quality control hona chahiye rather than just focusing ke product and services ke upar it should be also ke company ka jo hai na involvement usme So according to uh, Kairu Ishikawa Dr Ishikawa also believed that everyone in the company needed to be united with a shared vision and a common goal yani unke andar ek shared vision bhi ho aur goal unka common ho now he stressed uh, that quality initiatives should be pursued at every level of the organization and that all employees should be involved सो so, उसके मुताबिक उसका कॉन्सेप्ट क्या था कि क्वालिटी इनिशिएटिव दिए जाए ठीक है uh, उनको प्रस्यू किया जाए हर लेवल पे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के एंड एम्प्लॉयज जो है वो भी इन्वॉल्व होने चाहिए ना डॉक्टर एशिका वाव वॉज अ प्रोमिनेंट प्रोमोनेंट ऑफ इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ही वॉज प्रोमिनेंट इन द प्रोमोनेंट ऑफ इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ क्वालिटी सर्कल्स विच आर स्मॉल थीम्स ऑफ एम्प्लॉयज दैट वॉलंटियर टू सॉल्व क्वालिटी प्रॉब्लम सो सबसे ज्यादा उनका जो है ना ही वॉज द मेन प्रोपोनेट खास प्रोमोनेट थे इस इम्प्लीमेंटेशन के लिए क्वालिटी सर्कल्स डेवलप करने में वो स्मॉल टीम्स 
employees who are volunteer karte to solve the quality problems, to quality problems ko solve karte hain. Next, uh, we would be studying Ganeshi Tagushi. Now, uh, Ganeshi Tagushi, uh, Dr. Ganeshi Tagushi is a Japanese. Like I mentioned before by his name, you could judge that he's a Japanese. So, Dr. Ganeshi Tagushi is a Japanese quality expert. Now, known for his work in the area of product design. Ye Japanese quality expert hai, jo product design ke area mein jane jate Now, he's most famous in that. He estimates that as much as 80% of all defective items are caused by poor product design. So, unke mutabik 80% jo hai defected items sirf poor product design ki wajah se cause hote. Okay? Not because of the workers, not for anything, but the, the design is defective. So, Taguchi stresses that companies should focus their quality uh, efforts on the design uh, design stage so as it is a much cheaper and easier uh, to make changes during the product design stage than later during the production process so agar hum production ya productivity ko dekhe so at that time uh, tagushi ke hisab se company ko agar hum dekhte to company ke efforts unka kyunki stress zyada tha ki ye uh, product design ke point pe jo bhi faults aate hain wahan pe aate hain so uske mutabik agar uh, design stage pe hi wo corrections karni uh, shuru ho jaye aur quality us jagah pe maintain karna shuru kar de to wo zyada cheaper bhi hoga aur easier bhi hoga un changes ko karne ke liye during uh, the product uh, design stage to bachaye ke later jo pr production process mein jab wo cheez chali jati hai to uh, production process mein ja ke us waqt wo cost uski badh jati hai so it's cheaper at this point to maybe change it at the design stage instead of going ahead according to uh, Taguchi, now he's also known for applying a concept called design of experiment to product design so on a design of experiment to product design this method is an engineering approach that is based on developing robust design a design that results in product products that can perform over a wide range of conditions. So, main jis ono ne kya jo hai na apply kiya ek concept, theek hai? Design of experiment to product design. Ab is method me kya hai? Engineering approach hai, theek hai? Wo jo base hai uski developing ki robust design ke upar. Now robust design jo hai, unho ne explain kiya ki ek aisa design hai jo result karta hai jo products jo ban jate hai to that can perform ke wide range of conditions me bhi wo perform kar sakte hai. Like they are not limited. Let's say like for example, I'll give you a very simple example. If we buy an indoor plant, it is only designed for indoors if you put it outdoors it would die or it wouldn't survive or flourish like that so uh, if you bring an outdoor plant indoors then without uh, the normal sunlight required the plant would also wither so same thing products are designed according to the environment now different products are uh, based on different environments now according to him he wanted to have such a design or he wanted uh, the companies to develop a robust design that could survive in a range of conditions now Takeshi's philosophy is based on the idea that it is easier to design a product that can uh, perform over a wide range of environmental conditions than it is to control the environmental conditions so environmental conditions ko control karna zyada difficult hai zyada mushkil hai to according to Jagushi uski philosophy ye thi ke aap aisa design karein product ko ke wo wide range of environmental conditions mein suit kar jai ya chal jai this button ke aap environmental conditions ko control karne ki koshish karne it's not possible it's very difficult how can you uh, control environmental conditions you don't know what's going to happen what's going to change or what situation uh, it's going to be but if you can design a product that would let's say survive in all the various conditions then that means it's a success so Taguchi also has also had a large impact on today's view of uh, the cost of quality. 
تھا اس کے کاسٹ آف کوالٹی کے اوپر بھی اس کا لارج امپیکٹ تھا Now he pointed out uh, that the traditional view of cost of conformance to specifications is incorrect and proposed a different way to look at these costs. So, uske point of view, say traditional uh, view of cost jo tha, conformance to specifications ke sab se agar hum dekhe, to wo incorrect tha, according to Trikoshi. Now, he proposed, usne proposed kiya ke different way se agar hum uh, in cost ki taraf dekhe. Now, let's briefly look uh, at Dr. Trikoshi's view of quality cost. So, recall that uh, conformance to specifications specifies a target value uh, for the product with specified tolerances say um, 5.00 or 0 0.20 so according to the traditional view of conformance to specifications losses in terms of cost occur if the product dimensions fall outside of the specified limits. If the specified limits are outside of the specified limits, the so the product dimensions are the losses that we have to pay for the cost. Now, however, Dr. Taguchi noted that uh, from the customer's view, there is little difference whether a product falls just outside or just inside the control limits. Taguchi کے حساب سے customer's view کے point of view کیا تھا کہ تھوڑا difference پڑتا ہے چاہے وہ product جو ہے وہ just outside یعنی if it falls اور just inside the control limits یعنی difference اتنا نہیں ہے اگر بلکل اس کے edge پہ آ جاتا ہے he pointed out that there is much greater difference in the quality of the product between making the target and being near the control limit so اس نے point out یہ کیا کہ much greater difference ہے quality of product between making the target and being near the control limit so he also stated that the smaller the variation around the target the better the quality any variation اگر جتنی کم ہوگی target limit سے یعنی اتنا ہی better quality hogi. Now based on this he proposed the following as conformance values move uh, away from the target loss increases as a quadratic function. Now this is called the Taguchi loss function. It's called hum Taguchi loss function. Bolenge. Now according to the function smaller differences from the target result in smaller costs. Any کم ڈیفرنس ہوا ٹارگٹ ریزولٹ سے تو وہ کاسٹ بھی اس کی کم پڑی ناو دو لارجر دو ڈیفرنس ہے دو لارجر دو کاسٹ یعنی جتنا زیادہ لارج ڈیفرنس ہو جائیں گے اتنی کاسٹ بھی لارج ہو جائے گی دو ٹھگوشی لارش فنکشن ہاز ہاد سگنیفکنٹ امپیکٹ ان چینجنگ دو ویو آف کوالٹی کاسٹ سو ٹھگوشی لارش فنکشن جو ہے اس کا سگنیفکنٹ امپیکٹ تھا یہ so, if we study the philosophy of uh, TQM, uh, we would uh, go on and further read about that, that what characterizes TQM or total quality management is the focus on identifying root causes of quality problems and correcting them at the source, as opposed to inspecting the product after it has been made. So, what do you identify more? What root causes do you identify more? Quality problems and you can correct them at the source. Opposed to that, we will inspect the product when it is done, then we will inspect the product. Before that, we will inspect the root causes and solve the problem at the root cause. Not only does TQM encompass the entire organization, but also the entire organization. Not only does TQM encompass the entire organization, but it stresses that quality is customer driven so not sort of up to total quality management is this going to hire organization going compass Cartier but also you just be stressed Cartier get quality to have a customer driven hair take now total quality management TQM attempts to embed quality in every aspect of the organization it is concerned with technical aspects of quality as well as the involvement of people in quality such as customers, company employees and suppliers. So, what does it impact on every aspect of the organization's total quality management? It is concerned with your technical aspects of quality also as well as involvement of people in the organization 
they are involved in the quality also such as the customers unki involvement bhi hoti hai company employees ki bhi involvement hoti hai and suppliers ki bhi okay so here we look at that um, the specific concepts that make up the philosophy of TQM. So, if we check specific concepts, what are the concepts that the philosophy build on TQM? Ki, to, uh, these concepts and their main ideas are summarized in table 5.3. Mein. Now, uh, the first, customer focus. First of all, if we look at customer focus, hai. the first and overriding feature of TQM uh, is the company's focus on its customers. So, if we look at the first thing, the company's focus is on its customers. Pe honi now, quality is defined as meeting or exceeding customer expectations. And quality is defined as we can define that we are meeting or we are exceeding the customer's expectations. Unke expectations jitni hai, unse badke hum unko provide kar rahe quality ya at least unke standard ko meet kar rahe ya unki requirement ko meet kar rahe Now the goal is to first identify and then meet customer needs. So goal hamara kya hai? Ki hum pehle identify kar lein aur uske baad customer needs ko meet kar rahe So uh, TQM or Total Quality Management recognizes that a perfectly produced product has little value if it is not what the customer wants. So, if we see this, if we see this total quality management recognize that the perfectly produced product is that has little value if it is not what the customer demands or the customer wants something, if it is not what the customer wants, तो फिर um, produce product की कोई जो है value नहीं रहती उसकी value कम हो जाती है because there isn't any customer demand for it so therefore we can say the quality is customer driven इसलिए हम कह सकते हैं कि customer driven है quality so however it is not always easy to determine what the customer wants because taste and preferences change so एक चीज तो है कि हाँ customer driven जरूर है quality but ये बड़ा मुश्किल है determine करना या ये जानना या ये समझना कि customer चाहता क्या है या उसकी demand क्या है उसकी specifications क्या है वजह क्योंकि हर एक की taste हर एक का preference change होता है difference है everybody has their own ideas of quality everybody has their own ideas of a product So when we talk about customer focus, then we also, uh, customer expectations often vary from one customer to the next. So vary karti hai, ek customer se dusre customer pe uski expectations and that depends. So for example, let's say, okay, in the auto industry, uh, trends change relatively. So if we look at this example, we will say that if we look at the auto industry, then in the auto industry, the trends are changing. Relatively, if we look at it quickly, then we will say that relatively, if we look at it quickly, from small cars to sports utility vehicles and back to small cars. So if we look at examples in the auto industry, then obviously trends change. Some people would maybe like uh, want sports utility vehicles. Some would want smaller cars. Some would want a family car. So it depends on the customer choice. Ya unki expectations, ya unki choice pe depend karta hai. Ke how do they want to um, their vehicles? Let's say for example, if there is um, more um, in the U.S., it's very um, they have these family vans because uh, with children it's much easier to have a van than have a small car. And if it's just a single couple, then they would maybe without children they would prefer a smaller car. If there is somebody who uh, enjoys um, hiking or driving in the mountains or um, going about, he would maybe prefer a Jeep instead of a smaller car. So once again, it all depends on the customer expectations and their choices. And it varies from one customer to the other. Now, the same is true in the retail industry. So retail industry may be same cheese. Where styles and fashion are short-lived. 
تو اگر ہم ریٹیل انڈسٹری میں یہ چیز دیکھیں تو ادھر بھی یہی چیز ہے ویری کرتا ہے کسٹمر ٹو کسٹمر دیر از اے ویریشن بٹوین دیر ایکسپیکٹیشنز اینڈ دیر چوائس نا ویئر اسٹائلس اینڈ فیشن آر شارٹ لائف سو اسٹائل اینڈ فیشن چینج ہوتے رہتے ہیں سو کسٹمر کی چوائسز چینج ہوتے رہتی ہیں نیو فیشن کم تو اولڈ فیشن از آؤٹ اینڈ دین آل آف دیٹ پروڈکٹس اینڈ آل آف دوز تھنگس آر اے ویسٹ اینڈ دین نیو تھنگس کم ان اینڈ اے نیو ٹرینڈ اینڈ دین پیپل اسٹارٹ فالوئنگ دوز ٹرینڈس سو کمپنیز نیڈ ٹو کنٹینیولی گیدر انفارمیشن بائی مینس آف فوکس گروپس مارکیٹ سروے اینڈ کسٹمر انٹرویوز ان آرڈر ٹو اسٹے ان ٹیون وتھ واٹ کسٹمرز وانٹ سو بیسک سکسیس کمپنی کی کیا ہے کسٹمر فوکس ہونا چاہیے کہ کمپنیز کو کنٹینیوسلی دے نیڈ ٹو گیدر انفارمیشن ان کو کنٹینیوس انفارمیشن گیدر کرنی ہے بائی مینس آف فوکس گروپ یا تو فوکس گروپس میں مارکیٹ سروے ٹھیک ہے اینڈ کسٹمر انٹرویوز جو ہے ان آرڈر ٹو اسٹے ان ٹیون تاکہ وہ مارکیٹ سروے کر سکیں فوکس گروپس رکھیں کسٹمرس کے ساتھ کسٹمر انٹرویوز رکھیں تاکہ ان کو یہ چیز کلیئر ہو کہ کسٹمر چاہتا کیا ہے اس کی ڈیمانڈ کیا ہے and they must always remember that they would and they can stay in touch پھر وہ trends and styles and fashions جو چینج بھی ہوتے ہیں اگر ان کو customer demand پتا ہے ان کی choice پتا ہے تو they can stay in tune with that and gathering and staying in that field of competition is very easy for them so they must always remember that they would not be in business if it was not for their customers so they unko hamesha ye yaad rakhna hai ke wo business mein nahi honge agar unke customers hi nahi honge so another concept of tqm philosophy is the focus on continuous improvement so dusra focus kya hai iska philosophy ka ke continuous improvement improvement jo hai wo continuous hoti rahe now traditional systems operated on the assumption that once a company achieved a certain level of quality it was successful and needed no further improvements so a concept of traditional system tha operation ka ke unka ye assumption tha ke ek dafa company ne achieve kar li ek certain level of success ya quality ka to usko mazid improvement karne ki zarurat nahi hai but that is wrong you see uh, the trends change so level of uh, uncertainty of quality quality also changes so we tend to think of improvements in terms of plateaus that are to be achieved so hum agar dekhe to hum ye dekhenge ki trends jo hai improvement mein wo it's like steps in plateaus that we have to achieve every step one by one such as passing a certification test or reducing the number of defects to a certain level so isi tarike se jaise aap koi certification test pass karte hain کوئی کمپنی یا وہ اپنے ڈیفیکٹس کا ایک سرٹن لیول تک اس کو ریڈیوس کر دیتا ہے نمبر آف ڈیفیکٹس سو دیٹ وڈ بی دا میجر کانسیپٹ آف کنٹینیوس امپروومنٹ آلسو ہاؤ اے کمپنی کین امپروو دیئر پروڈکٹ اینڈ ہاؤ دے کین امپروو دا پروڈکشن سو ونس وین وی سی Customer focus according to this is very important. Now further on in the next lectures, we are going to be studying about different aspects of productivity and how um, total quality management works in every organization or a service providers or manufacturers or any system and why it's most important for uh, the organizations to follow it. So. Today's lecture was about uh, the details and uh, basically giving you a base of it. Uh, we will be continuing in the next lecture about these and we will take it further on, explaining the different diagrams and charts also and explaining the different methods of how to learn to read those. Um, we talked about the fishbone and um, the other terms, so we're going to be studying about flow charts and uh, fishbone diagrams also in our next lecture. So till then, um, do have a good time and I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you so much.